Welcome to my store. Okay, we're back. Uh, so I guess this is maybe segment three. Why do you always have to guess? Why do I always have to guess? Because I really don't know. This is my editor. He's the one that doesn't need to guess. I'm his father. I guess a lot. I guess he's okay. Sorry. More scads. More scads? <laughs> my six scads multiplied to eleven. Two, eight four, now. six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Who? Who do we appreciate, son? Happiness, joy, father. You want food? No, you said you wanted McDonald's. That's not food. No, it isn't. Okay, I'll give you some fish food. You eat that, and then you'll be happy? No. Why not? No secret sauce? What's that? More China. Oh, yeah. He looks a little distressed, but... Uh, a little bit more than that. Um, take some water from the uh, blue tanks and put it in a bucket, and uh, that way he's got some fresher water. See, basically all the water comes from the same source, that way when we uh, put them in it, they won't have any shock. Plus, we have the advantage that when the water has a lot of pollution in it, and it's all sealed up, it uh, detoxifies the ammonia by the carbon dioxide being in it. When the carbon dioxide comes out, the water becomes very toxic very quickly. So, we don't want to do that, so we'll put the cleaner water in with them. You can actually even put them in with the blue tanks. You want me to? Well, don't put the water in with them. Just put the Henny, the uh, more shadow you see in. Anything that can hurt me? No. Okay, just that. <laughs> Were you nervous, son? Mm -hmm. I scare my boy. Do you want me to put him in there too, then? Yeah. Well, put him in that bucket. Uh, that water looks pretty clean. This water? Or no, get rid of this yeah, water? Yeah, get rid of that water. But the water that's in the bag with him, it looks pretty clean. What's he look like? Yeah, he's a little stressed, but uh, he'll be coming around tomorrow. We take really, really good care of them once we get them here, so. There's, there's the third one. His water okay? Uh, his water's about the same as the other one, so just put him in with that. In with the water there? Yeah, in with that water. We'll just start scooping him fairly soon. Yeah, he's not as stressed as the other one. He's more normal color. See, when they're stressed, they kind of lean on their side a wee bit, and they're darker. Like this one here. Let's get him upside right for you. Yeah, he came through real good. These clownfish. Okay. Um, I didn't order the little tiny ones. But he's cute. Well, yeah, he's cute, but you try to get the money for him. What's that? Another one. Oh, yeah. Okay. This guy's really stressed. You can see how his markings are all mottled and broken up. Found fish. What do you got there? None are scat.
Yeah, those show up in the clear bucket. Uh, those are Xanthorus. Yeah. These are cream angels, also known as Xanthorus angels. They're a very, very durable angel. Fairly reasonably priced. They usually retail under uh, 60 bucks. Usually about 48 with me. Uh, depends where you get them. They don't really bother corals or anything like that. I've never really had any trouble with them with anything. They're just a nice fish. And if you look at that one, it's nice and thick. Now they kind of look a little bit like a Singapore queen. But of course they're not. Okay, I think we should put them in there. Just saying. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is put these in with these. <laughs> Because this water is even better quality than the water they got. Okay, so you take over the camera and I shall start putting them away. Okay. So you also have everything in this uh, system. There's nothing in these buckets that you can clean right out. So, let's start scooping. The crucial thing is, you've got to get them acclimated while detoxifying the water as well. Um, hang on one second, I'm going to grab the animal lock. There's the mono, and the clark eyes, and the mollies. No, I don't. Uh, it's just the water. I didn't really get much. Tomorrow there's going to be even more. Show them stuff. I'll be back down in a second. Okay, run. Hang. There's that big, big, big sailfin. There's the box fish. They're doing good. They come around here. There's the starfish. Fingers. Anemones. Okay, we got the ammo lock. Those are the carnivorous starfish. Now what this does, it detoxifies the ammonia by turning it into ammonia. Now you've got to carefully measure this. Yep. Oh, so carefully. Oh yeah, I hold my thumb over it. There's some on the table too. Some on the table? Not in that, that bucket, and then the other bucket, and then the mollies, if they need okay. it. Okay. You can't really mess up on the ammo lock. Do the mollies need it? Yeah, I do the mollies. Yeah. I don't think they need it because their water looks really good. Because being tank raised, they're well cleaned out and it's easier to ship fish that are tank raised because they don't have as much, uh, well, poo in them. You can see that the more shadow is kind of jumping out there. Now some people feel that using chemicals is not a good idea, but when you're trying to make your fish happy,